All right, now on Good Morning Northwest, we're learning new details about what led to the shooting death of a teenage boy in Reardon last month. Another round of snow coming in, but it will be moving out. and It's much less than we had a couple days ago. We're also going to see the potential for a little bit of scattered rain, but gusty wind certainly. We'll talk about all of that coming up. And we're just hours away from the big extreme team reveal how Mark and the team are improving the Spokane Hope Center and what's still left to be done before the big reveal tonight. You're watching Good Morning Northwest here on 4 News Now. Good morning and thanks so much for starting your day with us. I'm Derek Dice. Robin Ans will be back next week. It is Thursday, March the 2nd. Mark Peterson here with a look at that first alert forecast. And if you look outside, you might see a few snowflakes falling. Yeah, we've got some very light snow in downtown Spokane. We're going to see that continue also into Coeur d'Alene. Temperatures in the upper 20s, but winds tend to 15 miles an hour this morning and you can see it is fairly light amount of snow heavier amounts into Coeur d'Alene where it's gathering on the roads we also have about a half an inch and we're going to expect maybe a little more out of that so the morning light snow will continue for a little bit longer afternoon rain showers coming in heavy mountain snows for uh, north Idaho and into Montana but the winds are going to play a part in our forecast today for again wind chill we do have a winter weather advisory till noon north of Deer Park that takes you all the way to the Canadian line through call but it's through Friday at 7 p.m. into North Idaho. So those higher elevations are just going to hold on to it. Doppler radar, we see that snow continuing to move uh, to the east. We see the fact that we're drying out skywise. Davenport, Reardon, uh, Harrington, Sprague is going to be out of it here in a little bit. But Cheney, you still have light snow, and it is very light this morning. Temperatures uh, today, 45 in a Grand Coulee, 45 Ritzville, but winds to 45 miles an hour into the West Plains. We'll see gusty winds 20 to 30 miles an hour in our world. We look at what we can expect here. And again, the chance of snow really existing through the morning hours. The afternoon is going to be dry, cloudy, and temperatures around 40 degrees, upper 30s throughout much of the day. Well, new on Good Morning Northwest, two people died in a head-on crash yesterday evening in North Idaho between Rathdrum and Hauser. It happened just before 6 o'clock on State Highway 53 near Church Road. According to Idaho State Police, a to Toyota Tacoma, driven by a 26-year-old man from Sandpoint, was heading west on the highway when it crossed the center line and hit a Chevy Silverado driven by a 58-year-old woman from Priest River. That woman died at the scene, and the man died later at the hospital. ISP is investigating what caused this crash. And we're learning new information about a teen killed in Reardon last week. This is video from the scene that night. According to a probable cause affidavit, a group of teens were playing video games at a house near Reardon High School last Thursday afternoon. One of those teens had a gun that was being passed around. Court documents say the boys heard a pop and 15-year-old Shadrick Hall Turner, who died, say, dude, you shot me, followed by a 16-year-old saying, I didn't mean to, and apologizing. That teen was arrested for manslaughter and unlawful possession of a gun. Now, at this point, 4 News Now is still not naming the teen accused in this shooting because his case could be moved back to juvenile court. We have more details on what happened on the day of the shooting from these court documents. You can find that article by going to our website, kxly.com. And at the breaking now desk, in just a few hours, Alex Murdoch's defense attorneys will deliver their closing arguments in his murder trial as they seek to raise reasonable doubt about whether he killed his wife and son in 2021. The prosecution delivered their closing arguments yesterday, saying Murdoch was the only person who had the motive, means, and opportunity to kill them. Prosecutor Creighton Waters slamming the disgraced attorney as a thief and liar who killed his wife, Maggie, and son, Paul, to avoid a decade of financial crimes from being discovered. You fooled Maggie and Paul too. And they paid for it with their lives. Don't let him fool you too. Murdoch is accused of shooting and killing his wife and son by the family's dog kennels at their property in South Carolina. Jurors got to see the crime scene for the first time themselves yesterday morning. A media pool granted access after the jury tour described the now overgrown, deserted property as, quote, haunting. Murdoch has pleaded not guilty to two counts of murder and two weapons charges. Reporting in studio, Sydney Charles, 4 News Now.
All right, Sydney, thanks so much. The number of people living at Camp Hope in East Spokane has now dropped below 100. The Department of Transportation says 30 people moved out in just the last couple of weeks. At its peak over the summer, more than 600 people lived at the homeless camp. People who move out of Camp Hope are not allowed to move back in. Well, Spokane Valley is joining the city of Spokane and Spokane County to discuss a regional plan to address homelessness. In two weeks, a 90-day due diligence period will kick off. That's when they'll all work on a plan and also create a board to address homelessness on a more regional level. All right, good morning, Northwest time is now 6.05. We're going to kick things back over to Mark Peterson, and wind is going to be a factor for us here today. We're going to see gusty winds fire up this afternoon, 20 mile an hour winds, gusts to 45 potentially into the central areas. We see it from the Tri-Cities where they're getting rain right now, yeah. and coming up through our area to 15, putting a little wind chill, making it feel like eh, it's about 19 degrees out there. Dress warmly, your full forecast coming up. And we're live at Casa Restaurant in Tap House this morning, giving you a little preview of what's on their Inlander Restaurant Week menu. Severe weather sweeping the nation this morning from tornadoes in the south to Grapple in California. And the Kootenai County Sheriff's Office is cracking down on aggressive driving. What deputies want you to know before you head out on the roads. Stream 4 News now on your TV for free with the KXLY Plus app. Every Saturday in March, you can shoot baskets for cash. The more baskets you make, the more cash you win. All winners have one minute to make as many baskets as possible. The player with the highest score of the night wins even more cash. Make baskets to earn your share of up to $26,000 cash. More baskets, more cash for you. Earn entries now playing your favorite games with your Sun Club card. Get in the game at Chewila Casino. Hey, Washington, drive it home this March with a new rig from Northwest Motorsport. We have the best lineup of trucks and SUVs that end up at msrocks.com. We're teaming up with a great team of lenders to help qualified buyers score some special APRs on any Northwest Motorsport vehicle. That's not all we have in store. We're giving away $20,000 worth of prizes at nwmsrocks.com slash win. So check back daily. Find your next rig and drive it home from your local Northwest Motorsport. What is a jewelry design center? Locally owned and the largest jewelry store in the region, offering you more choices, more options. A showroom filled with world famous brands and designers. A center who also creates exclusive designs and one of a kind pieces. Whose specialized selection process ensures the brightest diamonds and most vivid gems. We are not your average jewelry store. We are Jewelry Design Center, and we want to be your jeweler for life. Bill's Heating and Air Conditioning is your family-owned and operated number one HVAC contractor in the Northwest. Bill's Heating and Air Conditioning would like to introduce our own carbon reduction program. Buy a new energy-efficient furnace from Bill's Heating and receive a heat pump with installation absolutely free. No hidden fees, no conditions, no exceptions. Buy a furnace, get a free heat pump from Bill's Heating and Air Conditioning. Call today for estimates and repairs. Twilight Bedding is the choice for all your mattress needs and now has two convenient locations in Spokane. Every mattress is manufactured locally right here in Spokane and crafted to meet any need you have. Whether it's for your bedroom, boat, RV, or your pet, stop by either location today and talk with an expert about the mattress that's right for you. Sleep right by Twilight. The 4 News Now Extreme Team is brought to you by Horizon Credit Union. All right, welcome back. Here's a look at what's new on Good Morning Northwest. 100 million Americans are in the path of storms that will have major impacts through tomorrow. This morning, people in Alabama describing tornado sirens and booming thunder blaring throughout the night. Now, that same system hammered California a few days ago, dropping record amounts of snow there. Along the coast, a rock slide shut down this road in Malibu, and this sinkhole in front of a high school swallowed two cars. <laughs> Meanwhile, it was not snow at Disneyland. The National Weather Service says... Grapple fell in parts of Southern California. Grapple, of course, happens when supercooled water droplets freeze inside of a cloud. 
The Biden administration has approved an estimated $619 million potential arms sale to Taiwan, including hundreds of missiles for F-16 fighter jets. It's a move that will likely further inflame already heightened tensions between Washington, D.C. and Beijing. A State Department official says the sale is consistent with the Taiwan Relations Act and our longstanding One China policy. But the Chinese Foreign Ministry has issued a statement urging the U.S. to cease military contact with Taiwan and end the arms sales. Pilots at Delta have approved a new contract that includes 34% pay raises over the course of four years. Negotiations between Delta's 15,000 pilots and the airline started back in 2019 and then went into federal mediation a year later before being paused for the pandemic. Here's Thursday morning, 10 second takeaway. It is gonna be again, somewhat of a snowy, slippery start. We've had light snow for the last three hours. Uh, yeah, you'll need your winter gear, but it's gonna get wet this afternoon with rain, 40 for the high today. Not really slowing down yet. So now he's like, oh, now I'm getting stopped. Well, those stops will be happening a bit more frequently in Idaho over the next several weeks. In preparation for St. Patrick's Day, officers are cracking down on aggressive driving before the focus becomes DUIs. Thanks to a grant from the Idaho Transportation Department, local law enforcement agencies will be out keeping our community even safer than usual. Sergeant Jeff Howard with the Kootenai County Sheriff's Office tells us when the weather starts to improve, they notice people getting antsy with more traffic on the roads. Our goal isn't to write tickets. Our goal is to educate the public to drive safer. If we could do that without pulling people over and writing tickets, I, I would call that a win. There's primary collision factors for crashes. And so that's what I, I try to enforce the most is because somebody's registration is expired. It's not going to cause a traffic collision. The sheriff's office hopes by simply letting the community know officers will be out in for full force, there will be a shift in how people actually drive. For those who don't get the message, though, it's speeding, tailgating, and unsafe lane changes that they'll be after. All right, good morning, Northwest Time. It's now 6-12. We'll have an update with Mark and the Extreme team as they renovate the Spokane Hope Center. And as we head into the final few days of Restaurant Week, Destiny Richards has a taste of what's on the menu at Casa Restaurant and Tap House. That curry looked amazing. It's coming up next. Coeur Lane Wigs not only has a large selection of new and updated styles, we offer refurbishing and repairs on your current wig. Let Jennifer and Sandy at Coeur Lane Wigs help you have that great hair day every day. Appointments recommended. At Gold Seal Plumbing, we're always looking at better ways to solve plumbing issues in your home. That's why we use the latest technology in sewer line repair called trenchless sewer repair. We can replace your current sewer line without digging up your entire yard. With just a couple of holes in the ground, we can pull new sewer pipe from the main line right into your house with minimal disruption to your lawn and your wallet. So if you need your sewer line repaired or replaced, call the best. Call Gold Seal Plumbing. We're on our way. Spring is in the air and creativity is blooming everywhere. At Custer's 46th Annual Spring Arts and Craft Show this weekend at the Spokane Fair and Expo Center. Join us as 250 artisans from across the Northwest display and sell their fine art, hand craft, and specialty foods. The variety and quality of work make this a must-see event. Single day admission, only $8. Tickets on sale now at CusterShows.com. Custer's Spring Arts and Craft Show this weekend at the Spokane Fair and Expo Center. Have you been dreaming of upgrading your truck with exterior styling or custom accessories? Or tricking out your interior with leather kits and heated seats? Well, wake up because Parker Extreme can help make your dream rig a reality. Stop in and get advice from our skilled Parker Extreme team. They have the knowledge and experience to help you make the right choice for your car, truck, or SUV. Your dream truck is here at Parker Toyota Extreme. You just haven't built it yet. Create a bedroom sanctuary during the President's sale at Moore Furniture. Get this beautiful solid wood four-piece bedroom with padded headboard for only $19.99. Maximize your space with this contemporary bedroom with storage bed and two color options for only $19.99. Or choose this classic bedroom with artisan crafted details for only $19.99. No matter what your style, Moore Furniture has the right looks at the right price. Visit morefurniture.com to preview all the President's Day sale specials. Use me to take a bite out of food waste and help the environment. How'd you do that? 
Well, give me yard waste, food scraps, heck, even your food soiled paper like pizza boxes, paper towels, and coffee filters. I'll take it to be composted and return to the soil. And we'll still be here for the rest. Learn more at SpokaneCountySolidWaste.org. Wigs not only has a large selection of new and updated styles, we offer refurbishing and repairs on your current wig. Let Jennifer and Sandy at Coeur d'Alene Wigs help you have that great hair day every day. Appointments recommended. 4 News Now is brought to you by Paw Patrol Live, the great pirate adventure. Sign up for breaking news alerts with the 4 News Now app. Hope for deaf kids really is the only hope in our area. Um, there is nothing else, um, especially for kids his age. Um, if it wasn't for Hope, he wouldn't be receiving any kind of help, frankly. Um, and it's, it's been life-changing for him and for us as a family. Jim Matthews says his son Xavier couldn't hear the people or the world around him for the first three years of his life. After being diagnosed as deaf, Matthews says he was immediately hooked up with Spokane Hope Center, which specializes in technology and education for the deaf and hard of hearing. A year later, Xavier is using a cochlear implant implant, excuse me, and sign language to listen and communicate. The Hope Center is the focus of the latest extreme team project we've been telling you about for the last couple of weeks. Mark Peterson and the team, one step closer to that big reveal. Mark explains why the thank you wall is so important to the Hope Center. So we're almost to the reveal day and someone who's not been allowed to watch any social media, has not been allowed to watch TV is the one and only Danette Driscoll, our executive director of Spokane Hope Center. Now, We've got new film on the windows that keeps the heat out and it's no one can see in. What do you think about those? Uh, well, first of all, it's wonderful because I don't have air conditioning and the heat was really hot in the summer here. Okay. You know weather. Oh, I know. And you have all new lighting throughout the entire building. What do you think about that? Uh, you know, I thought that it was my eyes because I'm old, <laughs> but actually, no, the light is so much better for the kids and the learning environment. It's actually even calmer for them to be able to see easily. All right, so here's the bottom line. We got a lot of people in the back working on a room that she has not seen. What are you most excited about? Is there a most excited part? You know, it started with an empty warehouse that uh, has a garage door in it, and it needs to be a place where our families can come together and meet other families raising children with hearing loss. And this is something that we had envisioned when we first moved into this building a couple of years ago. But we didn't know how it would ever happen. All right. Well, the extreme team and all of the subs, all of our wonderful community companies have come together. We've been talking about them. And again, we've been showing you some of the work going on throughout this piece. The bottom line is all of this heart and love is going into the reveal day tomorrow. We're still not done. We have lots of work. So we hope you join us. I'm Mark Peterson for the extreme team for News Now. All right, so what is on that list? You've got, a, like we said, a few hours left. Signs for success, I have pushed them to the brink of frustration, but they have come through beautifully. We're going to assemble a huge thank you wall for all those who have supported Hope and our community partners. Gold Seal Plumbing will be in today to hook up all the sinks, get that done. Mountain States Electrical has to come in and do some final touches that they added because they said, this is not good enough, we're gonna do better, and they're putting some special lighting in. Um, uh, uh, the kitchen place came in and, and put in all the, the counters and everything yesterday, a day early so that we could get preparation. Builders First Source dropped off emergency lumber because I didn't order it, and they <laughs> brought it right over. It was amazing. And good thing you're working inside today. You know, it has been a great <laughs> indoor project, I have to tell you. Oh, Hossie Landscape came by yesterday and this morning. They're de-icing, and they worked on some of the landscape yesterday that wasn't covered in snow. So, guys, thank you very much. Um, we just have great people. Today, 40 degrees. We're going to have gusty winds. It will be good to be working indoors. We're going to see the snow taper off, come back, and then taper off again with maybe some rain showers this afternoon. For tonight, 26, cold, breezy. The winds are going to fire up. Here's your Doppler radar, and oh, yes, it's moving out. We're going to see things in Spokane. The snow is very light. That doesn't mean we're done with it. We could still see some more snow throughout midday. By 10 o'clock, we look pretty good, and then it could fill back in for a little bit. But we're going to hold on to the snow into Idaho, and it's going to stay there. So we look at the amounts we're expecting. And again, um, an inch or so for us, but the mountains are going to get over four inches 
inches of snow, and we want you to be ready for that. If you're going to be traveling in the higher elevations, look at Sandpoint at six inches. Um, Schweitzer picks up an inch officially on their ski report today. Yeah, you're going to get more. It's going to be gorgeous weekend skiing. Um, temperatures day into the uh, low 40s. We have winds making it feel like the upper 20s. So, and that'll be through middle of the day. So be prepared for that wind chill in those windy conditions. Now, Friday, wrapping up the week. I don't get to sleep in. I'll be here tomorrow morning at 5 a.m. Um, after a long day today, 38 Friday, and then we're going to have temperatures nearing 40 Saturday and Sunday with a chance of light snow. Sunday, it's going to be drier next week with overnight lows around 20. All right, Mark, we can't wait to see the reveal. All right, just a few weeks left of Restaurant Week in the Inland Northwest. This Saturday will be the last and likely busiest day of the 10-day food event. You still have time to try a three-course meal at maybe a longtime favorite or maybe go somewhere new. Destiny Richards is live at one place that's new to Restaurant Week. Casa, and holy moly, the curry they cooked up has looked pretty amazing. Yes, yes, it is so good. That's all I can say about it. And we've got a whole platter here of some of the things from the first course and the second course here at Casa. And we're back with Julie Norris, <laughs> chef and owner. Tell us a little bit about your restaurant week menu again for those just joining us yeah. and seeing it all here. Sure, absolutely. Um, we have the hummus, which is really cool. That's on our first course. And what makes that different than other hummuses is we roast the feta with the olives and lemon and shallot and garlic. And so it has a little nutty flavor. Mm -hmm. And then of course our house bread with hot honey and our house made hummus. And then we have a fresh garden salad on that for first course. And then for the second courses, we have our vegetarian and can be vegan option right here. It's our So Rock and Bowl, mm -hmm. which is really good with our um, Moroccan stew. It's delicious. Yeah. yeah. And, then this is the curry and then the that red we curry. Tried, yes. Which is so yummy. Yep. And then this one I'm going to take a bite of. What is yeah. this one called? That's our adobo pork sandwich. So we have a little lime, so you can just spritz it on there. It kind of balances out all that richness. Ooh. So just dunk in, just go. Here we go. <laughs> Okay. Oh, yum. Yeah. Yeah. This is so good. I'm still dreaming about this bread, which is so <laughs> delicious. And we've showed all of this, so there's only one thing left, and that is the dessert for the third course that's coming up later. I'll send it back to the studio. Wow, it all looks fabulous. All right, good morning, Northwest time is now 622. The WC women are moving on in the Pac-12 tournament thanks to a come-from-behind win over Cal. And Gonzaga said goodbye to its seniors before blasting Chicago State in its regular season finale at the McCarthy Athletic Center. We'll have highlights from both games and tell you what's next for the Zags and the Cougs coming up after the break. Download the 4 News Now app today. It's the 36 hour sale at Furniture Row. So get ready because everything is on sale. Save on living, dining, and bedroom. Plus four years, no interest financing. But hurry, the 36 hour sale at Furniture Row ends Monday. Choosing the right legal team is the most important decision you'll make. Craig Swap and Associates is a top personal injury law firm for one reason, we win. Craig Swap and Associates, one call, that's all. For over 20 years, my dad sold vehicles all over Eastern Washington. To the farmers and ranchers, the firefighters, to the military men and women at Fairchild, and of course, our friends and neighbors. He knew selling great vehicles at a fair price and taking care of the customer would build the foundation for years to come. It was true then, and it's still true today. You see, we treat everyone like family because we are family. We want you to like the deal and love your wheels. Weather alert days on 4 News Now. That means weather that could be a threat to your family's safety. The first alert weather team pinpoints the most impactful and dangerous days, warning you early on air and online. Weather alert days, another way we're keeping you safe on 4 News Now. Spokane, Coeur d'Alene. Are there problems at home? Plumbing problems? Don't panic. Call Platinum. Platinum Mechanical. Platinum Mechanical's experienced five-star rated team is always available for drain cleaning emergencies. And only Platinum Mechanical offers drain cleaning for the low price of just $76. If you got a problem, go Platinum. Platinum Mechanical, 509-998-5113. My name is Craig, and this is my Northwest Specialty Hospital story. 
Well, I've been a PE teacher 36 of my 40 years that I taught. I had knee pain for over 25 years. When I had the knees done, replaced, it changed everything. That was in December when I had it done, and by March I was pain-free, and I have not had one day of pain. I'm back playing disc golf all the time, bike riding. I walk four to five miles every day. I would definitely recommend Northwest Specialty Hospital. They take care of you like you're part of their family. It's the 36-hour sale at Furniture Row. So get ready because everything is on sale. Save on living, dining, and bedroom. Plus, four years no interest financing. But hurry, the 36-hour sale at Furniture Row ends Monday. Welcome into Morning Sports. I'm Julian Minnesota. Gonzaga celebrated senior night on Thursday, but this one was a little extra special. It was the final home game in the kennel for Drew Timmy. Timmy is an All-American, a WCC Player of the Year, and ended the night 17 points away from breaking the Gonzaga scoring record. Anton Watson, Rajir Bolton, and Malachi Smith were also honored before the game against Chicago State. It was a great night for the Bulldogs as they snagged a 104-6. 65 victory. Timmy finished with a team high 17 points at a couple of these nifty passes right here. Gonzaga had seven different players in double figures. The Bulldogs will take the court in the semifinals of the WCC tournament. Game time is scheduled for 830 Monday night from Las Vegas. Gonzaga's opponent in that game is still to be determined. Washington State women's basketball defeated Cal 61 to 49 in the first round of the Pac-12 women's basketball tournament in Las Vegas. The Cougars trailed at halftime, but mounted a comeback thanks to 23 points from Charlize Ledger Walker. Washington State will take on the two seed Utah at six o'clock tonight. And that will wrap us up for Morning Sports. All right, good morning, Northwest time is now 626. Before we go to a break, here's your first look at what's coming up on Good Morning America starting at seven. In this morning's GMA First Look, an IVF tragedy. My sole life purpose was to have a baby that I didn't pass this gene on to. Melissa and Jason Diaz now raising a son with a deadly hereditary cancer gene the couple had sought fertility treatment to avoid. They are now suing California company HRC for allegedly transferring an embryo that had tested positive for diffuse gastric cancer. And then they say the company falsified medical records in an attempted cover-up. Melissa and Jason say their son will likely need his entire stomach surgically removed as early as age 15. We followed every step possible so that I never would have thought that we would be in the situation and I never would have thought that you know my son would have this this gene now. And we'll have much more on the IVF lawsuit coming up at 7 a.m. With your GMA First Look, I'm Andrea Fujii, ABC News, New York. Numbers move you, but some can stop you in your tracks, like the tens of thousands of people who were diagnosed with certain HPV-related cancers. For most people, HPV clears on its own, but for those who don't clear the virus, it can cause certain cancers. Gardasil 9 is a vaccine given to adults through age 45 that can help protect against certain diseases caused by HPV, including cervical, vaginal, vulvar, anal, and certain head and neck cancers, such as throat and back of mouth cancers and genital warts. Gardasil 9 doesn't protect everyone and does not treat cancer or HPV infection. Your doctor may recommend screening for certain HPV-related cancers. Women still need routine cervical cancer screenings. You shouldn't get Gardasil 9 if you've had an allergic reaction to the vaccine, its ingredients, or are allergic to yeast. Tell your doctor if you have a weak weakened immune system, are pregnant, or plan to be. The most common side effects include injection site reactions, headache, fever, nausea, dizziness, tiredness, diarrhea, abdominal pain, and sore throat. Fainting can also happen. Help protect what counts. Talk to your doctor or pharmacist about Gardasil 9. Stream 4 News Now on your TV for free with the KXLY Plus app. Saving you green. Twilight Bedding is the choice for all your mattress needs and now has two convenient locations in Spokane. Every mattress is manufactured locally right here in Spokane and crafted to meet any need you have, whether it's for your bedroom, boat, RV, or your pet. Stop by either location today and talk with an expert about the mattress that's right for you. Sleep right by Twilight.
Adventure awaits at Silver Mountain Resort this winter. Enjoy some of the best terrain in the region, only 30 minutes east of Coeur d'Alene, right off I-90. Family, friends, and smiles as big as the wide open vistas. Relax in a beautiful condo just a stroll away from dining, water slides, indoor surfing, and 84 degrees. And a gondola right away from our new covered carpet lift, tubing, and acres of snow rider heaven. Your winter adventure awaits at Silver Mountain. Book today at silvermt.com. Kylie and I are excited to show you the rugged good looks and adventurous spirit of this all-new Subaru Outback. It has a roomy interior and almost nine inches of ground clearance that make on- or off-road driving fun. Plus, Subaru's legendary safety features like symmetrical all-wheel drive and EyeSight driver assist technology. Visit ParkerSubaru.com or drop by the dealership to learn why Subaru is Kelly Blue Book's most trusted brand for eight years running. See the Subaru Outback and receive your no-problem customer service at Parker Subaru in beautiful Coeur d'Alene. From 4 News Now, this is Good Morning Northwest. All right, we're taking a look at some of the top stories online at this hour in the 4 News Now Story Tracker. The people of East Palestine, Ohio, will get a chance to speak with the operator of the train that derailed today while carrying toxic chemicals in their community nearly a month ago. The EPA has ordered Norfolk Southern to meet with people to answer questions about long-term health effects. The rail company already backed out of a town hall with local officials citing threats against its employees. Gas prices have fallen 13 cents in the past, past a month down to a national average of 3.37 a gallon. The decline has led to many companies ending fuel surcharges, lowering fees for consumers, but meaning drivers for services like Uber and Lyft have less of a cushion to pay for gas. Gas in Kootenai County is right around the national average at 333, while Spokane County is still much higher at 378 a gallon. And a crew of astronauts is on its way to the International Space Station this morning. SpaceX and NASA teamed up on this six-month mission where the crew will carry out science experiments and maintain the two-decade-old station. The first attempt at a launch was called off Monday due to a clogged filter. Well, good morning, Northwest. I'm Derek Dice. Robin Nance has the morning off. It is Thursday, March the 2nd. Mark Peterson is here with a look at that first alert forecast, which includes some winds and maybe a little more snow today. Oh, very, very light snow still falling, and we see that more downtown. We have just you, the clearing to the uh, west. Things are looking pretty good. 29 degrees right now. Winds, though, to 13 miles an hour makes it feel like 19 degrees. So we want you to dress appropriately. We look at the four things you need to know. That morning light snow will continue into Idaho. We'll see more rounds of light showers, afternoon rain showers possible, heavy mountain snows into the Cascades and into the Northern Rockies, but the winds are going to be the deal today for wind chill. We look at the Doppler radar and you can see this is clearing and things are looking pretty good. Cheney's out of it now. It continues to make its way through Coeur d'Alene Rathrum. Although it's still snowing lightly, it will add up and we'll see this back up and around us throughout the day with still some light showers. 40 hour high today, 38 into St. Mary's. Getting to 40 will be in the 30s throughout much of the afternoon, but those winds will keep those temperatures, those feels like, in the teens and the 20s. So dress appropriately as you head out. And new from the Breaking Now desk. This morning, a Pennsylvania man who allegedly tried to bring explosives onto a plane is scheduled to appear in court today. Take a look. This is the man, 40-year-old old Mark Muffley. He was caught on surveillance lugging these two suitcases with him. Authorities say those contain some dangerous explosive material. According to investigators, Muffley was set to take an Allegiant flight from Pennsylvania's Lehigh Valley International to Orlando, Florida on Monday. During a security screening, an alarm went off and TSA officers opened the suitcase and found a circular compound approximately three inches in diameter wrapped in a wax-like paper and clear plastic wrap hidden in the lining of the baggage. An x-ray showed the device contained powder consistent with a commercial grade firework. They also say it had multiple fuses attached, one designed to ignite quickly. If it was hidden, it was, you know, the fuse was secreted in the lining of the suitcase. So it's an indicator that Mr. Muffley um, allegedly knew that he wasn't supposed to be bringing that on an airplane. 
Police say the suitcase also contained a can of butane, a lighter, a pipe with white powder residue, a wireless drill with cordless batteries, and two electrical outlets taped together with black tape. Muffley is charged with possession of an explosive in an airport and possessing or attempting to place an explosive or incendiary device on an aircraft. According to a criminal complaint, he was paged over the airport's PA system. And instead of reporting to authorities, security cameras caught him leaving the airport. He was later arrested at his home in Pennsylvania. Court records show Muffley has had numerous scrapes with the law in the last two decades, including in March of last year when he pleaded guilty guilty to charges of disorderly conduct and fighting. Reporting in studio, Sydney Charles, 4 News Now. All right, Sydney, thank you. This video on board a Spirit Airlines flight from Dallas to Orlando shows crew members trying to put out a fire mid-flight. Passenger Rocco Gerrera-Cella jumped in to help. Retired New York City fireman, I guess it's just instinct. So I got to the, uh, it was a baggage overhead and smoke was bellowing out of it. Whole cabin smoke, smoked up, you know, filled up with smoke, and uh, and uh, I ripped open the door. Uh, the uh, one of the attendants came by, yelled, "Get some water!" After the fire was put out, the plane made an emergency landing in Jacksonville. Ten people were hospitalized, but they're all expected to be okay. Firefighters believe the fire stemmed from a battery in someone's carry-on bag. Coeur d'Alene Public Schools says significant changes could be coming to classrooms if two levies are not passed. One would go to safety and maintenance projects, raising $5 million a year over five years. The other is a forever $25 million supplemental levy. If both pass, it would cost taxpayers with a $500,000 home about $138 a year. The supplemental levy makes up 25% of the district's operating budget. That money goes to things the state doesn't pay for, like sports programs, school resource officers, nurses, choir, elementary electives, and more. The district says it prides itself on maintaining small class sizes, but if the levy is voted down, class sizes could get bigger. Um, we're a people business and we provide services to those people through with people. So um, realistically speaking, you know, we we will, you know, 90%, 85% of that $20 million will, will have to be made up from, from people reduction. The maintenance and safety levy goes towards updating outdated equipment. It would also fix roofs and add more security cameras. Voters will decide on this on March 14th. Now, a bill proposed by House Republicans in Washington, D.C. is trying to, quote, protect parent rights, introducing legislation to give parents more of a say in the school curriculum. It's the first bill House Speaker Kevin McCarthy has formally announced. The bill would require school districts to post curriculum information and provide parents with a copy of revisions to state education standards. It would also provide parents with a list of books and reading materials available in the library and more. So many times across this nation we found that parents were attacked, called terrorists, if they simply wanted to go to a school board meeting to be heard about what's going on. Democrats and education groups have argued a parent's bill of rights is an overreach and more harmful to schools and educators than it is empowering to parents. All right, good morning, Northwest time is now 637. Let's send it back over to Mark Peterson and eh, I'm guessing not the best day if you're going over a pass. It's gonna be a bit of a mess. Uh, you Stevens, Snoqualmie, Lookout, 4th of July, all packed snow and ice. Should also point out westbound I-90 between Moses Lake and George still blocked for that uh, semi collision. So the winter weather is out there. We want everyone to go slow, allow for plenty of time, whether you're traveling in town where your side roads are still snow and ice from a couple days ago. Yeah, take it easy. We'll have a full look at the forecast coming up. And still three days left of Inlander Restaurant Week. The last day is Saturday. Coming up, we'll be taking a look at Casa's third course. Four News Now on your time with Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Winter weather means hazardous driving conditions. If you must travel, follow these guidelines to keep everyone safe. Slow down and keep a safe following distance. Use traction tires. Give snow and emergency vehicles the right of way. Carry an emergency kit. Brought to you by Lakes, Worley, Post Falls, and Eastside Highway Districts. You've been hearing about it, and now we've got it at Post Falls Volkswagen, the ID4 electric SUV. This SUV has a space warranty technology that buyers want at a price that's competitive. The ID4 was engineered to win the hearts of SUV owners ready to go electric. 
With a quick charge and an EPA estimated range of 260 miles, the Volkswagen ID4 now eligible for a $7,500 lease credit. The ID4 electric SUV, see it at Post Falls Volkswagen. Kerner Furniture has been a family run and locally owned business for over four decades. We have seen styles change and furniture technology advance. But the one thing that has stayed constant is our amazing customers. And that is why during our customer appreciation sale, we invite you to come down and shop our high quality furniture at sale prices. Whether you're a longtime customer or new to the area, we want to help make your house a home during Kerner Furniture's customer appreciation sale. Going on now. Kerner Furniture, nice store, low prices. Saturday in March, you could shoot baskets for cash. The more baskets you make, the more cash you win. All winners have one minute to make as many baskets as possible. The player with the highest score of the night wins even more cash. Make baskets to earn your share of up to $26,000 cash. More baskets, more cash for you. Earn entries now playing your favorite games with your Sun Club card. Get in the game at Chewila Casino. Sometimes you're so busy taking care of everyone else, you don't do enough for yourself or your mouth. But eventually it will remind you. When it does, Aspen Dental is here for you. We offer the custom dental treatments you need all under one roof right nearby. So we can bring more life to your smile and more smile to your life affordably. New patients without insurance can get a free complete exam and x-rays and 20% off treatment plans. Aspen Dental. Anything to make you smile. Schedule your appointment today. The Move Fitness Gyms are on the move. Let's go! With a new gym opening soon in Spokane and a variety of fun classes starting now, there's never been a better time to join. Welcome back. Only three days left for Inlander Restaurant Week. You have until Saturday to enjoy a few more places on your list. But if you're feeling indecisive, remember, you can pick a restaurant by price, area, or cuisine from the Restaurant Week Guide. Desi Richards is live at Casa Restaurant and Tap House this morning where they're serving gastro tub type food, but that may be underselling it a little bit. Yeah, it's definitely described more as elevated pub food, elevated bar food, but honestly, even that is underselling it. It really is good food here, Julie. Thank you so much for all of this. Tell us about this on the third course of the menu. Yeah, absolutely. So we're doing our vanilla porter brownie with a ganache that has hazelnut and chocolate in it with a vanilla bean ice cream and some salted peanuts. It's so good. It's like one of mm. all my favorite flavors, just kind of like so very decadent and yes. good wow mm, that's so yummy and once again i'm blanking because i'm eating delicious food but tell us about what people can expect for the rest of the week i just going to be busy yeah yeah so we will be busy for restaurant week for sure uh but feel free to call ahead we don't do reservations but we do have a call ahead wait list and we'd love to have you guys come out and give us a try all right nice yeah. and that goes for all of the restaurants participating for restaurant week some places might have you know those ref reservations that are recommended but others will take walk-ins go ahead and see that guide on our website kxy.com and enjoy the rest of the week i'll send it back to you guys in the studio so you can finish that okay uh 10 second takeaway it's going to be snowy slippery start in many areas certainly to the north and east and through in north idaho uh wear your winter gear taking it easy today because we do have slippery roads 40 for the high today well, the wage gap between women and men is closing, but not nearly by as much as you would expect. The shocking new numbers from the Pew Research Center coming up. And big time financial relief is coming for Americans who battle diabetes. Why President Biden is taking some credit for this move a little bit later on Good Morning Northwest. Download the 4 News Now app today. At Lazy Boy Furniture Galleries, you'll find solutions from cozy to spacious. It's the Buy More, Save More event. With savings up to 30% off, the more you buy, the more you save. Lazy Boy Furniture Galleries. Live life comfortably. Spokane Hope Center for children born deaf and hard of hearing. They've got the kids. They don't have the room. We're expanding their theater of operations, refreshing offices, and it's all going to happen at the end of the month. The 4 News Now Extreme Team brought to you by Horizon Credit Union. When you've been seriously injured, choosing the right legal team is the most important decision you'll make. Craig Swap & Associates is a top personal injury law firm for one reason, we win. 
If you or a loved one has been seriously injured, our team of winning attorneys is here for you. We'll review your case for free and start working immediately to win the compensation you deserve. Craig Swap and Associates, one call, that's all. 92.9 ZCU. ABC's World News Tonight. And 4 News Now. When the local story is national news. When national stories hit home. Watch ABC World News Tonight at 5.30. And 4 News Now at 6. That's what we mean when we say expect more. Kelly Troy and the Pups at the dealership. It's known that Toyota enjoys a well-deserved reputation for best new vehicles available. Attention Toyota owners, Colville Toyota is pleased to present Toyota Ski Free Day March 3rd at 49 degrees north. Check out toyotafreeski.com for more info. At Colville Toyota, our friendly and knowledgeable team will answer all your questions. Colville Toyota, your small town dealership with the big heart. Hey, have you seen this TikTok family pairing thing? Uh, yeah, it's a bunch of settings we can customize. So like... So Shauna's parents are like, okay, so I'm thinking 40 minutes of screen time a day. And Shauna's all like, what? I think 60 is fair. Or you know how Ricky posts those sick solos? Well, his dad's like, these are sick, but they're only sick for you and your friends. Or you could be like, I'm extending your screen time, son, and your curfew. I don't sound like that. You don't sound like that? Four News Now is brought to you by Super One Foods Meat Sale. All right, welcome back to Good Morning Northwest. A Tacoma woman who has tuberculosis is facing arrest for refusing to isolate or take prescribed medication. Nigel Turner with the Tacoma Pierce County Health Department says they've been working for more than a year doing everything they can to persuade this woman to protect not only herself, but also the community. During the 16th court hearing in this case, a judge found that woman in civil contempt. If she complies before Friday, the health department may ask the court to lift the arrest warrant. Tuberculosis is a bacterial disease that can spread when an infected person coughs, speaks, or sings. And not everyone who gets TB gets sick. It can be treated with antibiotics, but if untreated, tuberculosis can be deadly. As grocery prices continue to climb, more than 42 million Americans who receive help from the Supplemental Nutrition Assistance Program, or SNAP, are about to get a lot less money for food. Three years of extra funds for food as part of a pandemic hunger relief program is ending this month, uh, setting SNAP recipients back 90 bucks a month on average. A new report found the gender pay gap hasn't narrowed much at all in the past 20 years. Analysis from the Pew Research Center shows women made 82 cents for every dollar a man earned last year. That's just two cents more than in 2020, or excuse me, 2002, although it is a leap from the 65 cent average back in 1982. Pew notes women's pay has been stuck even as they outpace men in educational qualifications. Part of the issue appears to be women are overrepresented in lower paid occupations. All right, you're taking a look over Spokane's Veterans Memorial Arena. Day two of State B will be firing up in just a little more than two hours from now. A lot of local teams still in the mix for championships. Always fun to see. Shocked and stunned to see a lot of pickup trucks lined up in order to get in there as they're <laughs> all from those a farming communities. A lot of rural communities. areas, A lot yes. of rural areas. They're ready with the four-wheel drives. Well, we got light snow today. Still a little bit of slippery road conditions. The winds are going to be the uh, annoying part of our day today. 40 with wind winds gusting in excess of 30 miles an hour. We'll see 10 to 20 mile an hour winds overnight. Temperatures down to 26. All right, Doppler radar busy this morning. Sorry about 3 a.m. But as this continues to move out, we're seeing a bit of a break and then we see it come back around and fill in. So we're going to see those scattered snow showers continue throughout the morning and then we'll see it better this afternoon. But we will see the opportunity for rain showers to come through the area later on today and then it should be dry. So we look at the forecast snow, not expecting much here. An inch in Spokane, potentially two into Coeur d'Alene, but look at the higher elevations on I-90, four and a half, now five and a half in Kellogg and you'll see more as you cross lookout into Montana with heavy snows allowing for extra time over the Cascades and the Rockies and sort of that no before you go thing, alright? Check in. We have temperatures that are going to be into the 
low 40s today. With those winds, it'll feel like 30 degrees, about 10 degrees cooler than it is at the time. So be prepared for that. The planning forecast, it's upper 30s all the way through the weekend. Best chance of snow during the day is going to be Sunday. We could see some light snow Friday night, and then it dries out next week with temperatures in the upper 30s. All right, got a couple things going on. Reveal day for the extreme team, the Hope Center. Wanted to show you this. Signs for Success did a gorgeous job, uh, and you haven't seen it yet because it's ready this morning. We're going to be putting up the Hearts for Hope, and we want to thank them. And also, I haven't mentioned Mountain States Electric doing all the, the lighting and electrical work, but Stoneways Lighting Supply has get, has um, worked with them for all the LED lights. And, of course, we've got new LED lights throughout the entire building and Rada Paint custom made a lot of paint for us to match the colors of the Hope Center. And we put them on the doors to brighten it up. Yeah. And, boy, is it bright. Bright and colorful. I yeah. dig it. Very good. All right, Mark, thank you. Good morning, Northwest time is just about 6.50 now. We thank you for waking up with Good Morning Northwest here on your Thursday morning. The Morning Sprint is next. Stream 4 News Now on your TV for free with the KXLY Plus app. 4 News Now is brought to you by Chewila Casino. Looking for the best brands, the best selection, all at the best prices? Then Denver Mattress has you covered. And during the 36-hour sale, check out the budget-friendly Summit Firm. Easy on the wallet for only $299.99. Shop our Easy Choice Plush or Firm, now only $449.99. Or get a $300 gift when you purchase any qualifying Tempur-Pedic. Plus four years no interest and free shipping. Shop the best of the best at the best prices. Only at Denver Mattress. The easiest way to get the right mattress. It's time for a new shower, but you don't want the hassle. You just want it done. Rebath, from start to stunning. Call us or visit Rebath.com and save $1,250 off your complete bathroom remodel. A combination of fun and performance is why Kylie and I are excited to show you the Subaru Crosstrek. The all-wheel drive Crosstrek offers an available 2.5 liter Subaru Boxer engine, giving you extra performance and power unlike anything on or off the road. There's no shortage of space for passengers and a surprising amount of cargo room for your gear. The Crosstrek has an 8-inch touchscreen with Apple CarPlay, connecting you with your favorite apps and navigation. Check out the Subaru Crosstrek and receive no problem customer attention at Parker Subaru in beautiful Coeur d'Alene. At Washington Trust Bank, can't is a four-letter word. I think we should hire more people. Talk. I'm late for a meeting. I'm thinking of starting my own practice. Mm, do it. Too much capital. We need a warehouse. I can't imagine how we do that. We should knock that wall down and expand. Do it. There's always another wall beyond the wall. We believe you can do whatever you set your mind to, and we'll help you get there. Washington Trust Bank, privately owned, locally invested. We are Heritage Funeral and Cremation. When you need us, we'll be here. We are committed to serving your family as we would our own. With respect, love, and compassion. Heritage is part of a local, community-owned association. With roots going back to 1888. And a dedication to Inland Northwest families. That we support by giving back to over 15 community organizations annually. We're here when you need us most. Coming, this is a story about me TV, where the clamp bed clan went to Monday through Friday. Said prime time is the place you wanna be, so they loaded up the truck and they moved to evening. Watch me TV weeknights at nine on KXLY 4.2. See breaking news in your area or have a story idea? Contact Four News Now. This Good Morning Northwest Morning Sprint is brought to you by Bill's Heating and Air Conditioning. 6.53 on the dot. Time to get you ready for your Thursday here in the Morning Sprint. Sydney Charles is live with details of explosives found in a bag at a Pennsylvania airport. But we're going to get right to Mark Peterson as another round of snow is moving through our area. And thank goodness it's a light amounts of snow in the first alert weather. And the first alert weather app would tell you about, again, the uh, winter weather advisory in effect, Idaho and north of Spokane. But we see this light snow coming in. It's not adding to much. Got about a half an inch on the ground downtown right now. Our high today is going to be 40, 38 into Coeur d'Alene. And Pullman, you're going to be at 39 degrees. However, breezy from Pullman to Tri-Cities all the way up through Spokane. Winds in excess of 20 miles an hour. So we're going to see the potential for light snow. Our high today is 40. We'll be in the mid to upper 30s throughout much of the afternoon.
Well, new on Good Morning Northwest, two people died in a head-on crash yesterday evening in North Idaho between Rathdrum and Hauser. It happened just before 6 o'clock on State Highway 53. According to Idaho State Police, a Toyota Tacoma driven by a 26-year-old man from Sandpoint was heading west on the highway when it crossed the center line and hit a Chevy Silverado driven by a 58-year-old woman from Priest River. That woman died at the scene and the man later died at the hospital. We're also learning new information about a teen killed in Reardon last week. According to a probable cause affidavit, a group of teens were playing video games at a house near Reardon High School last Thursday afternoon. One of those teens had a gun that was being passed around. Court documents say the boys heard a pop and then heard 15-year-old Shadrick Hall Turner say, Dude, you shot me, followed by a 16-year-old saying, I didn't mean to, and apologizing. That teen was arrested for manslaughter and unlawful possession of a gun. And a Pennsylvania man who allegedly tried to bring explosives onto a plane is scheduled to appear in court today. 40-year-old Mark Muffley was caught on surveillance lugging two suitcases, and authorities say those suitcases contained dangerous explosive material. A flight from Lehigh Valley International Airport was headed to Orlando when it was disrupted on Monday after bomb-type materials were uncovered in a suitcase as it went through TSA. Court documents say investigators found a circular compound wrapped in a wax-like paper and clear plastic wrap hidden in the lining of the luggage. Muffley is now charged with possession of an explosive in an airport and possessing or attempting to place an explosive or incendiary device on an aircraft. Alex Murdaugh's defense attorneys will deliver their closing arguments in his murder trial today as they seek to raise reasonable doubt about whether he killed his wife and son in 2021. The prosecution delivered their closing arguments yesterday, saying Murdaugh was the only person who had the motive, means, and opportunity to kill them and that his lies afterward betrayed him. The number of people living at Camp Hope in East Spokane has now dropped below 100. The Department of Transportation says 30 people moved out in just the past couple of weeks. At its peak over the summer, more than 600 people lived at the homeless camp. People who move out of Camp Hope are not allowed back in. Spokane Valley is joining the City of Spokane and Spokane County to discuss a regional plan to address homelessness. In two weeks, a 90-day due diligence period will kick off. That's when they'll all work on a plan and also create a board to address homelessness on a regional level. Pharmaceutical company Eli Lilly is capping out-of-pocket costs of its insulin at $36. As of May 1st, Lilly is also reducing the list price of its non-branded insulin to $25 a vial. Right now, is listed at 82 bucks a vial. The American Diabetes Association says the average price of insulin nearly tripled between 2002 and 2013. Demand has increased as diabetes becomes the fastest growing chronic disease in the world. And as grocery prices continue to climb, more than 42 million Americans who receive help from the Supplemental Nutrition Assistance Program, or SNAP, are about to get a lot less money to buy food. Three years of extra funds as for food as part of the Pandemic Hunger Relief Program has ended this month, setting SNAP recipients back 90 bucks a month on average. Over the next several weeks, traffic stops will happen much more frequently in Idaho. In preparation for St. Patrick's Day weekend, officers are cracking down on aggressive driving before the focus becomes DUIs. Thanks to a grant from the Idaho Transportation Department, local law enforcement agencies will be out keeping the roads in our communities even safer than usual. Coeur d'Alene Public Schools says significant changes could be coming if two levies are not passed. One would go to safety and maintenance projects, raising $5 million a year over five years. The other is a forever $25 million supplemental levy. If both pass, it would cost taxpayers with a $500,000 home about $138 a year. Coeur d'Alene Public Schools says it's at risk of losing more than 250 employees if voters don't pass the levies. All right, a final check of weather with Mark is next. For News Now. We believe you should expect more from local news. Our team is committed to a community conversation and bringing you information you need when and where you need it. Numerica believes in and supports that mission. If your checking account isn't earning you money, it's time to switch to bonus checking from Numerica. The account that earns an incredible 2% annual percentage yield, that could earn you up to $500 every year or more. If you need a new mattress, what you don't know could end up costing you. Come to Twilight Bedding Mattress Factory and talk to the experts. We make your mattress right here in our factory, so we can tell you exactly what it's made of. 
Twilight Bedding is also the only place in the area where you can still buy a double-sided mattress. Visit our website to learn the top 10 questions to ask when buying a mattress. And then come see us. Sleep right by Twilight. The Move Fitness Gyms are on the move. Let's go! With a new gym opening soon in Spokane and a variety of fun classes starting now, there's never been a better time to join. All right, the sun's officially up, and we don't see a lot of it because we have cloudy conditions, a little bit of light snow. We've had it all morning. We've had about a half an inch in downtown Spokane. Uh, we're expecting, again, a high today of 40 degrees. The winds are going to be gusting in excess of 20, so we want you to be prepared for that. Friday looks to be a better day. First of all, it's Friday, and we'll have temperatures nearing 40 degrees. Should be dry. We'll have another round of showers Friday night into Saturday, early morning with light snow possible. Sunday and 38 for the high there. But today, be careful, it's slippery. All right, no doubt about it, Mark. Thank you so much, and thank you for being with us this morning. We'll be, have updates throughout Good Morning America, where it starts right now.